So now let's watch again our presentation. Slideshow or a five. So imagine that we're going to present something about the seasons, while of nature, blah, blah, blah. And then I go to the second slide and I want to present different arguments about why I love winter, why it's the best season. So I say, um, I'm going to talk about uh, how winter is the best season. And first of all, and now you're going to present our, your arguments. And you've got many, or you've got plenty. The problem is that when you're going to, while you're talking about the first argument, the readers, or the, sorry, the audience, uh, is going to be reading like number four or five or six because it's easier to read like that it takes only a few seconds and you don't want them to be detra detracted sorry distracted um so what you want is to only make um one thing appear at a time so there's the first bullet that is going to appear you're going to talk about it and then you're going to control um the appearance um, and the order of appearance of each element. So you can do that by using um, it's called animation. So everything is the same in the same or on the same pane, custom animation. And then what you need to do is let's make it a bit okay, like that. And now when there is no animation, um, on a slide it means that every single element is going to appear at the same time as soon as the slide appears itself so winter well we need the title to appear from the beginning of the slide and then I'm going to take the first um, bullet element or item whatever and I'm going to add an effect so I'm going to check automatic preview and then something like diamond it is going to appear like that you can control the speed slow or medium fast very fast I'm going to choose another one Oops, sorry um, change split random bars Venetian blinds and you can spend hours um, yeah like that okay then I'm going to have a second one and I'm going to add a, an animation for each um, for each element um, be careful not to use different animations Oh, in the same list because it's a bit you know like school project you know so people are not going to take you serious and uh, same thing with colors do not use too many colors uh, for your text add add so slideshow so winter appears and the the footer thingies appear um, in the beginning of the slide and then I just click left click or I can do with my right and left arrows so right arrow got the first one and then click 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 and then I've got yeah I made a mistake and then whatever so I can delete this remove okay so First of all, imagine that you made a mistake and then instead of doing one, two, three, four, you did one, two, and then three. All you have to do is change order like that. So every mistake can be um, corrected. Other than that, as you can, as you can see, um, I have to click um, each time to go to the next element. Um, sometimes I don't need to do that uh, what I need is just for the list to appear the items to appear uh, at a certain moment for example I've got first element and then every three seconds have another element so 
what I can do. So the first element is going to appear when I want it to. So right click, you can see here, uh, effect wedge, start on click. Okay, and you've got the speed. The second element is going to appear after the previous element. When? Well, I'm going to say when. So right click, timing, and then start after previous and it's going to be three seconds later I'm gonna do that for every single three seconds after previous and you can see here the item becomes a clock okay You see that animations can take some time um, after previous. Okay, so I'm gonna view the whole thing. So I have to click for the first item and then one, two, three, voila. One, two, three, one, two, three. And, and so on. As you can see, I made a mistake. So holidays uh, appeared uh, second. So I have to go back and the proof. One, two, three. As you can see, I corrected my mistake. Um, so here we've got each element that appears three seconds after the previous element. Something else I can do is to group um, some items. So what I can do is group the first two, then group the other two, and then the other two. So I go to skiing, and instead of saying after previous, I just say with previous. Proof. Now I have to click. Uh, I did the, sorry, have to change the zero here slide click and you've got the second element that appears with the first one and then you've got a three second delay for the third one so I can do again timing with previous no delay then timing with previous without delay so proof click the two together one two three blah 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 as you can see I made mistakes so I have to correct them um, okay so I prefer So this time I'm going to click uh, on click and this is going to be on click. So click the two, click, two, click. Again, there is a mistake, so I have to correct them um, each time. As I said, it takes some time, so that's why I don't have animation in general, or I do only for one or two slides because it takes, it takes too much time and have to pay attention all the time there you go now it's okay and the last thing I can take so this one um, right click effect options if I want I can um, have text animation word by word letter by letter or after animation so I have a sound something like that Then again, um, effect, upward, and the last one, up here. 
add, slideshow, click, they appear with the sound. So there you go. Um, again, you see there's a mistake with this one because I've got, yeah, three seconds. So there you go. As I said, you do not we do not need all all of this, but I just want to show you what you can do. So these are the basics um, concerning custom animations in Impress.